Hey guys, this is BDB back again with some cool Circle Jerk Tour games. This is round one of Circle Jerk Tour, and uh, yeah, this uh, round one is basically like the World Cup format in which you have a team which is like paired up. So I was paired up with three other people, like there are like four people in each group, and there are like 80 groups in total, so that's like 320 people. I was paired up with uh, Cory2600, Fish18, and Martin. Um, my team is like, it's a team of five, in which my team has uh, me, ADF Test, uh, Colin or Avion, whatever you want to call him, Tesla24, and Paycard. So yeah, this was my, this was um, game one of Circle Jerk, and this is before the, uh, you know, the before the Fermosa event, so my opponent is using a Fermosa here. Um, yeah. So, uh, I decided, like, I know from a few replay replays of Fort Cory 2600 uses, I found out that he uses, like, more um, balanced-ish and bulky teams. Like, he has a 92.3 GX or something like that on ladder. Uh, and he uses, like, he doesn't use, like, hyper offense or stall, but he uses, like, uh, a bit of bulky-ish teams. So, I decided that uh, Trick Room would be a good option against him because... Uh, it has like hard hitters if he decides to bring a lot of bulky stuff. I can like use them to break it Yeah, so this this trick room team is built by sorry. It's an RMT right uh, this was because this was before it was an RMT. I decided to use this Yeah, because it's it's a pretty solid team and it gives me good matchup most of the times Okay, so looking at the team matchup um, I see he has Fermosa, which is a huge threat to my team uh, he has a world corona which is a, tre a threat to like almost any team um yeah and he, he has i think i i probably think his uh lando is rocky helmet defensive and he has a defensive core in uh, tapafini and um Majorna. it's the same it's like it's like basically what i expected a bulkyish team so uh looking at this i i think i expect him to lead with the fermosa like anticipating him anticipating me to lead with the uh, Uxie or with the Cresselia to get, like get off my trick room and he if he's like choice specs or uh, bug buzz he just okay okay me so I I think I should lead with uh, Marowak here and so yeah because I expect him I expect him to basically lead with Fermosa so I lead with the Marowak here and uh, yeah uh, but but here he leads with the top of Fini which was which I didn't expect so um, yeah, uh, so I don't want to obviously stay in and get like served or scarred or anything like that. So I switch on into my Uxie here. Uh, I I switch on into Uxie predicting either um, scarred or Nature's Madness or any of other of those two things. But he doubles out in his landers. Um, I'm not really sure why. But yeah, he doubles out into his landers and he goes for the rocks here and we basically trade rocks here. And yeah, I, I decided to go for the Trick Room uh, on the U-turn. Uh, yeah, uh, and then I just Memento off on the Major now. So... Yeah, yeah, and after I get the Memento off, I just go on it into Marowak. And yeah, he, he doesn't have switch-ins to Marowak here. And I'm Rockhead of Flare Blitz Marowak. And if he like decides to go out into his Lando, that's definitely a two-hit KO from the range after Stealth Rocks. Uh, so Landorus is not even a switch into this. So I just stay in and I click. I just stay in and I click uh, Flare Blitz. Uh, he decides to stay in with his Majorna and he just sacks it, uh, and then goes on to Landorus, which is which is which is a, which is, a, which is a very good play. Uh, because if he, if he like went on to Landorus, then it was it would probably be two hit KO. Like it's a roll, but it's a roll in my favor. So he just sacks the Majorna there, and uh, yeah, and then goes on to the Lando. And uh, I thought he might, I might, he might go for the U-turn there, and I thought of staying in and uh, clicking Flare Blitz. But uh, yeah, but I decided that. Uh, um, Marowak is like good on my team. I'm like Marowak is good against his team, so I just decided to like hard into Cresselia here, as he does go for the EQ, 
just making the safe play. And yeah, I set up the trick room again here. I'm pretty sure I set up the trick room. Oh no, okay, never mind. I have one more turn of trick room left. So I just go for the ice beam. Or trying to catch the Lando on the ice beam, but he he predicts that re really nicely and he goes down to the top of Feeny here. So he goes down to the top of Feeny here and my trick room runs out. Uh, he could he could go for the taunt here, but I'm mental herb. But I decided to like save my mental herb for the for like uh, if I need it in a more useful situation, I think saving it is a good option. So uh, yeah, I decided to save my mental herb for like maybe a different time. And I I, kn I knew the taunt was very obvious and like switching out here also plays some mind games that he thinks that I don't have mental herb and he thinks I'm like. Rocky Helmet or some shit like that. Um, so yeah, I think uh, switching out there was the right play and I just hard mobile and he goes for the taunt. So yeah, I, I catch him in the taunt there and I just click play rough here and unfortunately I miss the play rough. Okay. So so this play rough mesh, this is like uh, pretty crucial. Uh, like it doesn't, it didn't do much. Uh, like you'll see the next turn that it didn't do much but uh at this point i was like uh because player of like um okay or volcarona from that range but now not missing that now because i missed player of it's a 50 50 here he could either go out and landris or he could stay in and fire blast but uh, uh i i don't feel like risking it i just stay in and i go for the sucker punch and i i catch, I catch him so the miss uh, the, it does not end up mattering but if he like went hard land on the sucker punch, then I was in a pretty bad position. Yeah, so um, here we just uh, he just goes on to Lando. I don't I I didn't I didn't I didn't think he would go for the EQ here. But even if he did, I thought I was in a winnable position. Like after I got up trick room, like it's like um, even if he goes for the EQ, then I get off a free. Uh, trick room with Cresselia here and if he goes for the U-turn I obviously snag another kill so I think it was smart on his uh, like smart on his end to go for the earthquake directly instead of going for the U-turn because I think the stay uh, the stay in with mobile was uh, probably obvious like now I think about it but at that time I was like yeah he's probably going to U-turn but he makes the safe play and he makes the right play going for earthquake so yeah that works out well for him uh, I decided to go out into my Cresselia here, which will obviously get out of the trick room. As he just goes for the U-turn, and I do get out the I do get out the trick room, and I just hard into Majorana here, and he goes for the Nature's Madness. Okay, so uh, I think I should have probably gone for the Moonlight on the Cresselia and then switched out into Majorana, but then uh, I would I would be at the same amount of HP as I initially started, so. Uh, I didn't see the point, but uh, maybe that would have been a smarter play now I think about it. But at that point of time, I think Hard Majorino was the play I thought because uh, if he went for the Nature's Madness and uh, he can, uh, even after he goes for the Nature's Madness, he does not like kill me with any other move. So yeah, I just went hard into Majorino here. And now, and now I'm Giga Bolt Havoc uh, on this Majorino, that is ZT Bolt. Uh, but I, I think he might go out into his one of one into one of his grounds to like just waste a turn of trick room. So I just go for flash cannon on the on first turn, but he ends up missing the nature's madness, which sucks for him because he would have got a decent chip on that. Uh, but then, but now since I, I think he's like conditioned to stay in, uh, I just go for the Gigavolt Havoc here, which ends up. Being a very, which ends up being a bad play because he d he just hards Dougie on this turn. Uh, I don't get why he would hard Dougie on the turn because like uh, I just flash cannon the previous turn and flash cannon definitely like okay was Dougie from that range. But yeah, he decided to make that play, which I think was a misplay. But yeah, it obviously worked out for him. So yeah, I can't say much about that. So. Yeah, he, he basically made a risky predi prediction, like he needs to get rid of my trick room turns. So, yeah, he, instead of, yeah, he, 
thought I would go for the T Ward or the Floor Cannon probably. Yeah, he probably predicted the Floor Cannon there and just went out into the uh Duck Trio so that yeah. He probably pre predicted the Floor Cannon, so uh in his defense I think he made the right play there. So yeah. Um I have one turn of Trick Room left and I just decided to go for Flash Cannon because I'm pretty sure it kills the Dougie from that range. And yeah, and whatever he switches on into it does a lot of damage. Uh, he decides to sack the Feromosa. Um, which is fine, I guess, uh, because since I already showed Gigavolt Havoc, he probably he probably thought I was uh, Bolt Beam, and that's why he didn't want to risk his landers because he thought I was clicking the he was clicking I was clicking Ice Beam, and he definitely does not want to go out into his uh, top of Fini because that's the only thing that walls like Crowdant and yeah both Crowdant and uh, Marowak on my team. So obviously, uh, if he like, if I just went for the floor cannon or something there, uh, Tapu Fini would die, and yeah, he would just he would end up losing the game. So yeah, well, Fermosa was the best play there, and he did the best play that is sacking Fermosa. So he has like more options in this game, and he just goes on to Landers here, and I once again predict the U-turn, or I just rather decide to get a safe switch into my Cresselia because. Um, U-turn doesn't kill me from that range, and even if he, like, uh, knocks out my Majorna, I'm pretty sure I can, like, uh, go into my Cresselia, Moonlight, and just Lunar Dance. Uh, I mean, trick room, set, up, set up the Trick Room and just Lunar Dance. So, yeah. I just set up Trick Room and Lunar Dance there, and I go into my, um, uh, yeah, I decided to go into my Marowak there, and, okay, so, I go into my Marowak here, and I know he cannot, like, he, I know he doesn't uh, two-hit KO me with any move, right? So, I Lunar Dance here into my Marowak, and uh, I have an option here. Uh, do I SD here, or do I just go for the Shadow Bone and two-hit KO this thing? So, uh, I have to make a risky predict. No, I, I mean, I can make the safe play here and just go for Shadow Bone, and... Um, I don't think the Spini has scarred because he didn't go for the scarred early on in this uh, turn one, and uh, we spoke to each other after the match was done, and he did say that he did not have scarred on the top of Fini. So, uh, yeah, so he, obviously he didn't have scarred on the top of Fini. So the best thing he could do is go for the Nature's Madness here and get off some chip damage. But uh, here I decided to go for, um, yeah, I decided to go for the Shadow one here, and unfortunately for him, I get a crit. Uh, yeah, he told me that he was like, uh, that he, he was like max defense, uh, Tapu Fini. Yeah, so it was, it was a roll in, no, no, it wasn't a roll, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely a two hit KO, but it did like, uh, 48-ish, yeah, it did like 48-ish, but, yeah, and, but the Tapu Fini, like, could like not do anything in return to me, um, so yeah, he goes on to Landris here and I Flare Blitz that uh, knocks out the Landris from that range. And now he goes on to the Duck Trio. And uh, yeah, I just Flare Blitz again. He had Sucker Punch, but he decides to not go for it for some reason. Um, yeah, so that's game. Okay, so if uh, so this so if he like think it down, uh, if if I didn't get the crit on top of Feeny, I still won regardless because uh, the max, the maximum th damage he could do was, um, yeah, the maximum damage he could do was Nature's Madness, and I would be left at like 37% health, and uh, another Shadow Bone definitely killed the Tapu Fini from there, and oh uh, yeah, it was also in a range that uh, Aqua Jet would kill after Rocks if he like ever decided to switch out to the Tapu Fini, um, and he, and then yeah, he basically had no way to win this game, but yeah, that crit like sucked because. We can see the end game like better, but it, it didn't matter at all in the long run because I won regardless because I had Aqua Jet, Life Orb, Adamant, uh, Crowdon, which like uh, kills Dougie, which kills um, Landris, and definitely kills Tapu Fini even after minus one, especially after um, damage from Shadow Bone and Stealth Rocks. So yeah, that, that's the that's game one of Circle Jerk Tour for you guys. Yeah, if I, this was a highly requested video, so. I decided to do this. If you guys want me to like continue, uh, show your support, and yeah, I'll be back for like um, 
the next two rounds. And uh, yeah, I, today I had my sixth game against Sony. I obviously won't spoil it because I might be recording all of that uh, today. But uh, yeah, I'm currently one and zero. So yeah, let's see how it goes on. Uh, anyways, catch you later, guys. Peace. Bye.